Today we are going to discuss uh, some commands in the file menu of Microsoft Word. Now as this is Microsoft Word, so we need some text over here. Without text we can't proceed. So I want to insert uh, automatic text that is already embedded in Microsoft Word by Microsoft company. For that purpose I will click uh, I will type is equal to R A N D RAND bracket start and then bracket close then enter is equal to RAND of 10 and enter. Microsoft Word will insert 10 random paragraphs on our page. If we place full stop at the end of this formula it will do nothing so we'll not place full stop okay is equal to rent bracket 10 and then direct enter it will place 10 paragraphs on our page as we need some text for processing now let's move on to the file menu here we are going to study some commands the first command is the home command we have already discussed about it home will open the dashboard of microsoft word or the back office of microsoft word Dashboard provides us access to the recent files that are stored in our Microsoft Word. If we want to open any of these files, we just click the name of that file, it will open in front of us. If we want to close it, we will go to File and we will click Command Close. Dashboard will also show us the pinned document, the important documents. To pin a document, we will just go here and click this pin symbol. It will come to the pin list of Microsoft Word. Here you can see my pin documents. This is the blank document option. It will create a blank file for me. And these are the templates. We will discuss about the templates in the next class. Blank document is used to create a new blank file. We can close it also. The short key to create the new file is control plus N. Okay. Like you see, I'm going to press control N. It will create a new file. Okay. Now, the next command is new. As we know very well that we can create a new document from here. Also, we will just click the new blank document or press ctrl n from our keyboard it will create a new and blank document if we want to close it we will go to file and click close next to that there is a command known as open what will open do for us open will open a file now open is showing us my documents folder and also other folders that contain the word files we can directly choose any of these files to open we'll go to file and close to close them we can also choose from folders over here it will also open our files we can also close it and we can also click open then browse and go to any of the folders any of the drives for example I, I have some files on my D drive in the folder ICT new notes I'm going to open it and you can see that I have opened up file the short key for open command is Control plus O. Let's see. I'm going to press Control O. Here you can see the same command is open in front of us. We'll click the browse button and open any of the files. Next to that, we can see the information command. Info command is showing me the information of my document. It is showing me that it contains only one page. It has 41 words. It was 
uh, editing time of, for that file was five minutes, and that file was created by my name is written over here. Okay. This is the way we can see all the information about our file. Now, next to that, we can see the command save. Save command is used to save our file. For that purpose, I will go to file, save and then click browse. Where to save it? These are my locations. Uh, D drive, E drive, C drive, pictures, videos, music, documents, downloads. I am going to store it in my documents. And then I will choose option name for that file. I uh, gave the name of picked one two and then I clicked the button save we can also do it by short key control s here my computer is taking time to save the file because it is connected to my one drive it is storing the file online ok next to that uh, we can use short key for the save also that is control plus s i am going to press control s and then it will save my file also next to that is save as save as means saving a file with another name file save as as this file is stored on my d drive i am going to click browse and I am going to save it on my D drive with the same name central processing unit and I saved it on my E drive. Let's see whether it is stored on my E drive or not. I will click my computer, I will open E drive. You can see the file over here. Now I am going to D drive where it was already stored that was ICT new notes and central processing unit is also here so I saved a copy of that file with on another location with save as we can also change the name of the file and save it to the same location how we will just go to file and click save as and click browse and then we will change the name of the file I am going to change it as in central processing unit 1 and save it now let's see I have two files on my e drive central processing unit and central processing unit 1 central processing unit 1 is the copy of central processing unit that is made by save as command save as command is also used to apply the security over our file we can protect our file with the password so, no one other or unauthorized could be able to open our file. How can we do it? We will go to save as file, save as, then we will click browse again and then we will click tools and general option. In this general option, we have the option to apply the password to open and password to modify. For example, I am going to give it the password 1, 2, 3 to open and I am going to give it the password triple one to modify it says that re-enter password to open that is one two three it says that uh, re-enter password to modify that is triple one and then click ok and after that we will click save again now I have saved this file and I am going to close that file we will reopen it file open and that file name was central processing unit 1 as I try to open it what is demanding me the password if I will give the wrong password it will not open my file then I will try again I will go over here and type the right password 123 it will demand for the password to modify that was 111 and it will now open my file if I want to remove that password I will go to the same command save as browse I will not change the name of the file I will go to tools and click general option here we will click 
the password space and backspace and we remove the password with our backspace button and click ok then we will save it again and now I am going to close it and reopen it it is not asking for any type of password these were few basic commands in Microsoft Word file manager